Hi, everyone. Does it feel great to be at MWC in person? Right? So in the next 10 minutes, and in six slides, I'm going to show you what the next step is for Open RAN. But before I do that, I'm going to ask the audience a few questions. I'm going to ask you about when the exploration of Open RAN started. I'm going to go from 2020 all the way down. When I call your ear, you raise your hand. So, who in the audience thinks that exploration of Open RAN started in 2020? Raise your hand. Who in the audience thinks that exploration started in 2019? 2018, 2017, one hand, 2016, more hands, and finally, 2015, majority of you. Seven years later, Open RAN is a reality. So I'm going to go to the next slide, and I'm going to explain the stages to you. In 2015, this is when the first deployment started. And there were two market trends that enabled this innovation. The first market trend is industry consolidation. We ended up with just three suppliers. And the second market trend is the disaggregation in release 3 GPP 15 in RU, DU, and CU. That created an opportunity for the industry to innovate. Remember 2020? Pandemic? But also that year, there was a lot of FUD around Open RAN. Remember white papers, podcasts, Open RAN integration is difficult, security issues. Two years ago, competitive tension. No wonder the innovators, they didn't listen to all that. Operators were deploying. Innovators were innovating, and that's why this year and next year we will see large-scale deployments of Open RAN happening. So, why is Open RAN this important? Two things, choice and innovation. Ability to max, mix and match components with open interfaces unleashes the power of innovation. And in just last two years, Oran Alliance introduced new components as well that became more mature, like RIC. Those new components, they made Open RAN more intelligent and more automated. The reason I'm stopping on the slide, I want you to pay attention to two things. Year on the left and the year on the right. Three years. The industry went from 12 ecosystem partners to over 50. And just in the last four months, 
since this, last, this slide was created, many more joined the ecosystem. John shared this slide as well. What I actually want you guys to see, and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to see in just three years, the deployments, 10 to over 50. You know why? Because OpenRAN is operator driven. Operators want open interfaces. They want supply diversity. They want choice. Back in June of last year, there were five European operators that asked vendors for open RAN components. Over 40 vendors responded. Innovation is happening. It's fueling the deployments. So, did I convince you? Or you need more data? More data on the screen for you. GSMA data published in light reading. What does this data tell you? Over 60% will be deploying Open RAN in the next two years. Almost 60% see Open RAN deployed for large scale deployments. So, let me finish with this. If there is one step for Open RAN we see in the industry, it starts with the letter D. Let me spell it for you. It's D, E, P, L, O, Y, M, E, N, T, S, which stands for deployments. Thank you very much. And if you want a copy of this slide deck, please follow me on LinkedIn. After I'm back from Barcelona, you will be able to download it.